Dimplex heat pumps are highly efficient systems which once they have been successfully commissioned by the specialist take over the operation in a self-regulating manner. In this tutorial you will find an explanation of the menu structure and the control unit of your heat pump as well as an overview of all relevant setting options for system owners. At the top right of the frame you will find an input pen for operation. For more information about selected menus you can use the information button on the top right of the display in almost all menu levels. The main menu provides an overview of the heat pump's system status and setting options for the most important functions. Only existing functions are displayed, for example if you haven't installed any hot water preparation, this will not be displayed either. The system status tile provides information about the current status of the heat pump. The status, lock and fault menus provide information about the current operating mode, blocks and faults of the heat pump as well as information about the running hours. In the lock and fault menus, more information about this can be displayed by clicking on the message. The last 10 fault and blocking messages are displayed. In the lock or fault menu, further information is displayed in the event of a fault or block. This information is usually requested by customer service or the installer in the event of a malfunction. Here you can also find out whether an installer or Dimplex customer service should be contacted in this case. Depending on the system configuration, summer, winter, cooling, vacation, party, second heat generator or automatic mode can be selected via the operating mode tile. A detailed description for the specialist can be found in the associated operating instructions. After selecting an operating mode, you can access the associated parameters by clicking on the arrow on the right. In the hot water only operating mode, summer, the system does not do heating, but only serves a hot water and swimming pool request, if connected. The heating mode, winter, sets the heat pump to heating operation. In cooling mode, the system cools and serves a hot water and swimming pool request, if connected. The second heat generator mode blocks the heat pump and the heating and hot water supply is provided by the respective second heat generator. Attention, the second heat generator can be an existing boiler or an additional electric heating element. When the second heat generator operating mode is activated, the heat pump is blocked and only the second heat generator is used for heating. In the party mode, if you select a time period in hours, hot water blocks and lowering programs for heating are ignored. After the period has elapsed, the previous mode is switched back on. In vacation mode, the hot water generation is deactivated by selecting a period in days. The heating mode is reduced to save energy. After the period has elapsed, the previous mode is switched back on. In automatic mode, the heat pump automatically switches between the operating mode's heating mode, hot water only and cooling mode, depending on the outside temperature, provided the cooling function is available. To do this, the respective limit temperature for the change in operating mode and the duration of the temperature overshoot or undershoot must be set. Mark the value that is to be changed by clicking on it. After this has been selected, you can make changes with the plus and minus buttons. If you change from another operating mode to automatic mode, the automatic operating mode change only takes place after the set duration of the temperature over or under shoots. The lower the limit temperature is set, the more energy saving the heating mode is. The better the thermal insulation standard of the building, the lower the limit temperature can be set. The usual settings are 10 degrees Celsius in well insulated new buildings and 20 degrees Celsius in existing buildings that have not been renovated. In the menu home you can change the heating temperature for each connected heating circuit. A heating circuit is a pipe system through which the heated water is transported into the radiator and or underfloor heating. The heating curve determines the heating water temperature. With a click on the plus, minus buttons you can raise or lower the temperature. This can be done for each heating circuit. Tip. For energy efficient operation, we recommend opening the radiator valves completely in a permanently heated room, i.e. setting the maximum room temperature and using the plus and minus buttons to generate the desired room temperature. The quick heat function is displayed in conjunction with an installed room control. The quick heat button enables a maximum heat demand to be generated for a defined period of 20, 40 or 60 minutes without changing the basic settings. Set weekly profiles. 
The weekly profile button takes you to the respective overview. With a weekly profile, times can be set at which the heat pump raises or lowers the temperature. You can access the weekly overview via the clock symbol at the top right. You can set two temperature increases or two temperature decreases. Example, to set up an increase temperature for the first time, click on the one next to the text raise. Now the pencil symbol appears at the top right, use the pencil symbol to access the settings. You can determine the desired increase value by clicking on the number under increase. A keyboard appears at the bottom for this purpose. Confirm your selection by pressing the Enter key at the bottom right. The start and end time of the raise should be determined in the same way as this procedure. Once you have made your selection, you can return to the previous menu using the back icon at the top left. With a click on the respective bar, days can be activated or deactivated in color. The clock symbol takes you back to the overview of the raising and lowering times. Tip. Practical experience shows that heat pump heating systems often work more effectively if they are operated continuously at a constant temperature level. If you use underfloor heating, an increase or decrease value of 2 to 3 Kelvin is recommended, for radiators 3 to 5 Kelvin. Room Control Menu If you have the Dimplex Smart RTC Plus Room Control, you can set the temperature separately for each room. Select the desired room for this. The setting of the room temperature and the setup of weekly profiles are carried out as described previously. Hot water menu. The factory setting for the hot water temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. If the individual hot water requirement is higher, the target temperature can be increased, which leads to higher operating costs. For reasons of hygiene, we recommend that you do not set the temperature below 50 degrees Celsius. More information on thermal disinfection and circulation can be found in the associated manual for the specialist and should be activated in consultation with the specialist if necessary. Operating Data Menu The Operating Data Menu shows the following parameters of the overall system and the connected functions. Manual monitoring of the operating data is not necessary. Below is a brief explanation of the most important parameters. Menu Runtimes and Timing in this menu you will find an overview of the running time in hours and the number of switching operations of the compressor, also called cycles. A counter reset can be carried out with the arrow symbol on the right hand edge. Thermal energy menu. In this menu you will find the amount of heat produced by the heat pump for the respective requirements. A counter reset can be carried out with the arrow symbol on the right hand edge. Inputs and Outputs menu. A description of the inputs and outputs can be found in the instructions for the specialist. Registration Dimplex Home App. The NWPM Touch extension, which is available as a special accessory, is offered for remote access. If this optional accessory is not installed in the heat pump, registration is not possible and the font of the tile appears in grey. These accessories can also be retrofitted on request. Contact the installation company for this. Install the Dimplex Home app, which is available free of charge in all app stores, and create a user account by selecting the Register Now option. Select the menu Home app registration in the Heat Pump menu. Select a user type. The system operator is the user and owner of the system. This user type has the right to remove all other user types. Only one user can be set as system operator, whereas other user types can be used more than once. However, only the system operator has the right to remove other users. The specialist user type allows access to the corresponding specialist level. The service user type allows access to the service level. After the TAN request has been made, two five-digit numbers appear. You can now pair your heat pump to the Dimplex Home app by selecting the plus symbol in your Dimplex Home app. Enter the previously issued TANs and a name and connect the system to the app. After logging in, you can use the Dimplex Home app to access your heating system from any location. The functionality of the input is analogous to the operation on the device.